Hello everybody, my name is Dude. Welcome to Dreaming Treat! This is number five in the treat di treat games game. You need to set focus on the window. Can I go? Thank you. Okay. This might be a long and I think maybe I don't know. It looked like Moxie on the title screen without a winter coat on. Oh, we can move now. Cool. Mochi is fast asleep. Oh, we're treat right now. Okay. Moxie is softly snoring. Let's, uh, sneak off and, uh, do things, important things. Can I go in here? It won't open. Okay. What will open? Eh? Why did it question mark me? Who went this way? Someone went this way. Is it looping? Is it loop? Hello? No, don't! Oh. It's a... Oh, okay. Okay. That's why it looked like it was looping. Okay. Or maybe it was just a really long hallway that kind of stretched infinitely. I don't know. A dream? Oh, wait, no, you can make a looping thing in RPG Maker, you know, I think about it. It's my day off. I think I hear Mochi outside. Yay! Let's go see Mochi Moch. Ah, the brightness. Everything sucks. Mail. It's a postcard from Trick. I can't read it. Hi, Treat and Mochi. How's the weather on Mount Sorvay? I ended up going pretty far north, so it's pretty cold where I am now. As you can tell from the picture, I'm near Gram... Gramory? Gramory? Gr that place. They say there's a human town somewhere around here. I guess that's a rare thing. <laughs> I'll let you know if I find it. Stay tuned for more Adventures of Trick. Just kidding. I'll write again soon. Your friend Trick. They were in my dream, too. What a coincidence. I'm glad they're doing well. The font, color choice, and the background of the thing is kind of blending in really well. And if I was, if I didn't have my glasses on, yeah, I wouldn't be able to read it anyway, but, like, it, it, mm, it's not, it kind of blends in a little too well. Good mornings! Guess what? The garden's all ready. All it needs is things to grow in it. Mmm, weed. Weed! We grow weed! <laughs> we're heading to town to find seeds. I thought we were banned from the town, though. Are we not, are we allowed to? Full speed ahead, Treat! To the Insta Rail Station! So energetic. Got up really early today. I was too excited about the garden. Could have woken me up. You have such a cute sleepy face. I couldn't just wake you up. You could. Oh. Ho ho ho! Are we allowed in here? Good morning, Mr. Mouse. Morning, Mochi. Treat. Guess what? We're gonna start our garden today. It's gonna grow all sorts of weed. <laughs> I will share everything with our friends. How kind. That includes you, of course. Even though you're here to keep wolves and foxes out of frosting, you're never mean about it. So even if we disagree, we're still friends, right? You might replace me with someone mean if I were to call a rabbit who lives with a wolf my friend. Eh, I guess so. Sorry, Mochi. Don't apologize for that, let's just go. It's complicated for her. Sorry. So, we don't go that way. Is the Insta Rail Station this way? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Coming this way with you always reminds me of the first time we made curry together. I don't remember that time. It's been a while. I used to be scared of Moxie. <laughs> Looking back, it is pretty funny. I feel like I've come a long way. Oh, yeah, we did make curry here, didn't we? Wait, is the hotel still around? Is it closed? Now leasing. Come to think of it, where is Moxie living nowadays? I mean, I don't think we need to worry or anything. She's always really happy when she visits. So it's okay, Treat. Why do you look so sad? Right, I'm not sad. Yay! I think she's living... She's homeless. I, I think she's homeless. We need to give her a home. Alrighty, Treat. Go ahead and buy us two tickets to Atelier Sweet Station. Okay. That covers the round trip ticket, which include unrestricted wall use while valid. 
expires 12 hours after purchase date. Okay. Two. Thank you for your payment. Printing two tickets. Thank you for the insta rail. Here's yours. That's neat. It's making me do all the work for me. Ha! Uh, you! You're from another game? Have any Who are you? I didn't ask that question. This rail is a station. It's a railway system with stations all over the world. Even spanning across dimensions. As long as the rails between stations are connected, you'll be able to access them via this chamber we're standing in now. This vehicle appears at every station simultaneously, given the illusion that there are a great number of them. When actually, it's only the one. Oh. Okay. Cool. I know that this, it's a train with infinite entrances and infinite exits. Okay! You can call me Spice. I'm a witch who specializes in spatial distortion magic. My doll's name is Nil. It's cute. Yep! I make costumes, too. Have you heard of a story called Her Tears Were My Light? Time and I are huge fans. Yes. I played that. Uh, it's very meta. I have no idea. What you're doing? Ah! Uh, you. Okay. We're here. That was weird. Straight ahead to the marketplace. I remember the way. <laughs> I just felt like saying it. Okay, fair enough. To the candy store, I think. Let's look for a gardening shop. Oh right, we're going to a gardening store. I forgot. That's my bad. I thought we were going to candy stores. Let's look for a gardening shop. They probably have all kinds of seeds for sale in a place like this. Probably? Probably. Right? What if they don't? Then this will become an adventure. Uh, let's look for a place with plants. We're bound to find something. Plants. Plants, 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 plants. Plants. Hello. Oh, it's you, Miss Treat. Told you before, you don't need to call me Miss. Oh, a friend of Treats! It's nice to meet you, I'm Mochi. Alright, oh, Gumdrop. Mochi, that's a very sweet name. I am called Gumdrop. This is the candy golem I met last winter that one day. Oh yeah, I remember. I finally get to see a candy golem in person. How nice. It's my first time seeing a bunny in person. Equivalently cool. Really? But there's lots of rabbits. Not as r it's not as rare to see a bunny, right? Oh, now that you mention it, I haven't seen other bunnies here. To say something like a candy golem is just as rare as me? I've seen mostly witches and kitties and mice, but candy golems, humans, and bunnies are very rare to me. Uh, I hear the garage door. Mochi is rare. I am not rare! I mean, mochi is rare where I come from. This looks like plants! What beautiful flowers. Can we buy any seeds here? Of course, I have a basket of seeds pa seed packets here. I'll buy them since you bought us the tickets tr here, Treat. But which one should we get? Whatever you think is good. We should decide together. How about I pick one, then you pick another. Then we choose the third one together. Okay. I choose radishes. Okay, Treat, your turn to pick one. Blueberries. 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 Blueberries! Well, they'll take a really long time to grow. Is that still okay? I don't mind. I mean, blueberries for everybody! Is that a problem? My third one should be something we'd both like. Onions. Onions? For curry. Oh, yeah, I like that. Let's plant lots of onions. Our garden's gonna smell. We got radishes, blueberries, and onions. That can't be good. That, that can't be good for smell. Maybe I'm wrong. Off we go! Did it. Yay! I can't wait to go home and get these seeds in the ground. Me too. Alrighty. Uh, wasn't there... What about that candy lady? Do we get to meet them? Ah. Where's Atelier Suites? I wish to I wish to visit. I, I, what do you mean this is the only place? 
In the whole city. Oh, hello. Foxy? It's her! Let's go say hi! Poop! Hey, it's you guys! How's it going? I didn't expect to run into you. <laughs> I work around here now. I haven't gotten paid yet, but when I finally do, I'm gonna buy some of this awesome candy. That's the candy store? Oh, you got a new job? It's so great! I'm proud of you, Moxie! <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Moxie is self-sufficient. Anywho, would want to interrupt your date. Toodles. It's not a... We're just shopping. Moxie's so unpredictable. I didn't even get the chance to invite her to come see our garden. Anyway, want to head home? In a moment. Seems like Moxie really wanted to get some of the candy they sell here. Makes me want some, too. Should we go inside? Hooray, candy! Uh, you... Um... You were in the... You you were in the you were in the thing. How'd you get here so fast? That still says that next time someone buys candy on my behalf, I must pay them back. I will do that next time. It was only two dollars. I don't think it was too big of a deal. It's two cups of noodles. Two meals. Cup noodles isn't a meal treat. Not anymore. True. Syrup isn't very sociable, but she's gotten a little better recently. Trust me, she was happy to see you. I understand. So what brought you here today? Just in the neighborhood? Who are you talk- We did not talk to them! Who? What? What are you on about? We didn't see them. We didn't speak to them yet. Was this an event that happened in the past and I just wasn't paying attention? We bought seeds to start a garden. Gardening on Mount Sorbet? That's an interesting endeavor. The wind is good for it this time of year. I never would have guessed. Though that's probably my bad for assuming it's snow there year-round. Yeah, we're not stereotypical Canada, boy! It does higher up, but we live near where the snow still melts during spring. How nice. Well, I wish you good luck with your gardening. Thanks, Pastel. Can I buy candy? I wish to buy candy. Never had gum before? It's chewy and yummy! I'll buy us one each so you can try it. You don't swallow it! Should have explained beforehand. <laughs> You're supposed to chew on it until it loses its flavor, then you spit it out. I wasted it? I buy you another, or you could just have mine. How about I. How about I just, uh. How about we just. Like, go. But maybe we should have just had candy. Do you want to hold hands on the way back? Yes. Y yes. Yes. Yes, you do. That is adorable. La 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 la. So excited for our garden. Come on, treat, sing with me. I, I can't sing. I can't either. I'm told I have a good singing voice, but like, I I, I can sing, but I, I don't want to all the time. Oh, you're so cute, treat. Embarrassing. Don't be embarrassed. You're both adorable. Good work. Yep, it's gonna look so wonderful when everything starts sprouting. We're gonna have tasty radishes, yummy blueberries, and lots of onions for special curry. I'm looking forward to it. Mmm, me too. Um, Treat, thanks for always being so nice to me. Where is this coming from? I'm just really happy that I get to live with you, that's all. Of course. Thinking about our future curry makes me super hungry. Let's go inside. Make us some sandwiches. Okay. Oh, we've got a nice view. I didn't realize that we lived so close to the... to the edge of the mountain. We are on a mountain. I didn't realize that. What? Finally, the full moon has come. It's beautiful as always. Indeed. Are you ready for your moon ceremony treat? No. Need to you need me to explain it again? Alright, please listen closely this time. You and your partner will be making a vow to the moon to always be together and to support one another. For a wolf, it's one of the most wonderful achievements in life. And you finally come home with one, your one special mate. I couldn't be more proud of you, Treat. I remember we we had our moon ceremony. What a night to remember. 
We stayed together all these years. Now Treat's going to have a magnificent life like ours, too. We also fucked like rabbits! Come on now, my darling. You mustn't keep your soulmate waiting. There's a small wolf in my bed. She's whimpering. What? A small wolf in, in your bed? In your bed? Wait, what? This isn't Mochi. Hey, Treat, where have you been? I'm Trick. What's up? You ready for the ceremony? No. Can we call this off? Oh. Someone's jelly. Call it off! Call it off! It should be me instead! What makes you think you deserve to marry her? Come on, Treat. I know you want to spend the night with Moxie again. <laughs> Oh, that's a... Let's not reference that thing. I... Just marry her, dearie. You'll be so happy once you finally have a partner. Don't you have to be happy? You have to choose. What the fuck? This is a shitty deal right here. Treat? Mochi? Wolf should just die. Especially a disgusting one like you. Oh! Nightmares. Night nightmares. It's stuffed with papers. Disgusting, 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 disgusting. Di oh. It's a nightmare! That's not how Mochi or Treat or Moxie think of you, and that's not how your parents think of you. I mean, if your parents are that bad, you need new parents. Just saying. Oh, Treat, good morning. I was thinking of waking you up soon, since you'll have work in a little while. Alright. Did you have a good dream? I was about to get married. Married? To who? Everybody? Oh, no. Everybody! We're getting married to everybody! And, uh, my parents were assholes. La la la, but she's going to be working in the garden today. So, well, at least you're happy about it. Have a good day at work. See you later. Mail! Another postcard from Trick. What? Hi, Treat and Mochi. I'm writing from the desert this time. It's really hot here in Krem, and I keep getting sand in my shoes. Hey. I never ended up finding that human town from before, but that's okay. The witches here told me that humans are afraid of wolves anyway. Actually, they were talking about jackals. That's what they thought I was. I'd like to meet one of the... one to see the similarities for myself. Oops, running out of space. Have a good day tomorrow! Sounds like they're having fun. Yeah, it does! Off we go! This is the way, right? I wasn't paying attention last time I was here. Yep, here we go. Good morning, Treat. You're right on time, as usual. Morning, Annie. Good morning, May. I guess in room 103 checked out a little while ago, so if you could start the day by cleaning up in there, we would really appreciate that. Understood. Which way's 103? This way? No reason to go in here right now. Nope, it's not. How about here? That's... Oh, it's the changing rooms. Right. So we'll go up here. One, two, three. One of five. Where's the other one? One of this is one of three. Oh, okay. I need the blankets too. All tidy. Well, that was easy. This should be fine. Uh, I don't know if it's fine or not. We can find out. Anything else? Please take this tea up to room one hundred six. I think I started it a minute ago. Certainly. Fetch quests! Which is fine. Here's the tea you ordered. Huh? You're a wolf, ain't ya? Yes, sir. What's a wolf doing serving tea? It's part of my job. Huh. <laughs> Didn't they teach you to smile? You can't be a good server if you don't smile. They also taught me how to deal with rude customers like you. And, uh, the way to do that is to throw the tea in your face and then throw you out in the door. Sorry for the intrusion. Have a nice day. <sighs> Good lord, I feel bad for Treat. 
This is actually how retail is. Did you deliver the tea? Thank you. Next, could you replace the soaps and towels in the ladies' changing room? Of course. Who are these people? So what, should we leave? I mean, yeah? No one told me there was a mouse running this place. Not to mention the wolf servant. I think it's eavesdropping. Can it, can't it read the mood? Can you not be racist as fuck? Good lord! Uh-oh. Nudity! That... Took you long enough. Sorry, didn't realize anyone was here. What are you acting all shy for? You've seen me naked. Yeah. Yeah, we have. But uh, the context was different. True. How are you? Clean. I was just on my way out. I have work in an hour. Oh, your new job. Yep. I don't think I had the chance to mention next time. Moxie's working at a clothing store. It's pretty high class, which is pay outrageous amounts of money for nice clothes. Sounds like you're enjoying yourself. Oh, for sure. So I've been so busy lately. Did you miss me? Were you lonely? You were in my dream. Whoa! A sexy dream? Was I good? Not that kind of dream. Mm hmm. Forget it. Heh. <laughs> okay. Well, thankfully you're we wearing a top. So I don't have to censor anything. Not that I would have to anyway, it's too small. It's nice catching up, but Boxy's gotta run. Hey, when I get paid, let's go do something fun. You bring your girlfriend, too. We're not! Sure, sure. You might as well be. Truth. I think you'd both be happier if you confessed your big gay feelings. That's all Moxie's trying to say. <laughs> big gay feelings. <laughs> I've never heard of it like, called that, but, you know, I, I like that. I like that. It's not that easy. <sighs> All we're done, at least. We're done, at least. Oh, treat? It's about lunchtime. You can take a break if you'd like. Okay. Forgot my lunch. Oh, no. Do you need to run and fetch it? No, no. She's been on her feet all morning. The least we can do is provide her a meal ourselves. I fucking love this place! <laughs> the bosses are super nice! What? Okay, you... Hey, Treat, I've prepared a little extra this morning, so please partake in some of my lunch. Oh, thank you. Um... Okay, this place is really fucking nice. First place I worked at, probably wouldn't have done this. Second place I started working at, probably also wouldn't have done this. Third place, I would not be surprised if they did. I don't want to leave that place, just... But, like, I don't make enough money. Why don't we all share? Now it only looks like I'm imitating you. Treat, please accept one of my egg rolls. I'm offering it to you in genuine kindness and not just out to May. <laughs> okay. I, I don't want food now. I want you both to stop. Why don't you just accept that since you came in second this time? I've won Treat's favor this round. I'm sorry, if I hadn't forgotten my lunch, you wouldn't have had to compete. Now, now, you're not at fault? What have you done, May? Now Treat feels awful about this. Oh, Treat, Annie and I were just having a little fun. It isn't a serious competition, though I am serious about it. I know, it's always like this. I'm serious as well! We only want to take care of our dear employee. I'm grateful you do both. You're so sweet. Now, if you finished eating, let's hurry up and get back to work. That's the kind of strict demands I'd expect from May. That's really not that strict if you're willing to give me food. If you're willing to give me food at work on my break when I forgot my own lunch. That that's not really demanding at all. I will work for free food at break time. Gladly. Good work today, Treat. Here's your pay for the week. Yeah, boy. That's after tax or before tax? Or is there even taxes in this place? Back home we go. Go and do the place where that put da but da but do. Have set up but 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 I know. Wolves aren't gardeners. It wasn't a wolf gardening. It was a rabbit. Um. 
Mochi? Mochi, are you in the fridge again? We'll cook when Mochi's back. Not thirsty. Mochi, are you in the trash can? I'll throw away the note from the door. Over it can say what they want. I don't care. Mochi, are you in the fireplace again? Are you outside? Did you blue skidoo? I don't feel any calmer looking at this. Are you under your bed? You under my bed? You under the table? No. Are you in whatever this box is? I don't think she's hiding. Okay. What if... What if something happened? Treat! Mochi. I had a fun idea, so I rushed to the store to buy something. Looks like you beat me home. Sorry I'm late. It's okay. Treat? Oh no, I didn't worry you, did I? Yeah, but it's fine. You weren't gone that long. I'll tell you later. What did you buy? That's a secret for now. First, we gotta have dinner. Okay. Fair enough, then. What do we got? That is adorable. That... <laughs> Tiny rabbit girl kicking her feet on the chair. That's adorable. Yes, hugs. Maybe we shouldn't do the garden anymore. What makes you say that? When I came home, there was a note on the door. Someone got mad. And then you were gone, so I was worried. <laughs> so that's why you were acting that way earlier. I don't want anything bad to happen to you because of me. Don't be silly, Treat. You don't have to worry about that. Not one bit. So what if there was a note? You don't want to give up on the garden that easily, do you? It's more yours than ours. You've been helping me with it. It belongs to both of us. But it'll be okay. If all they did was leave a mean note, that's nothing to be afraid of. True. And uh, what we could do is get a picket fence. But not really a picket fence. Maybe we're like a big, big palisade wall. No, no, that's still a wall. Maybe. We get... No, no. I was thinking armed guards. That's not a thing. Secret service? No. Write a mean note on the front door so it looks like we already got... Someone already got us. But we know it's us writing it. And we're not... Yeah. We just left it there. Leave notes there every day. That are mean and not true. <laughs> that'll... That'll show them. What have you been making over here all this time? I'm just about finished. Here, I'll show you. What is it? The bracelet? They're friendship bracelets! Huh? One's for you and one's for me. We can both wear them and be matching. I wanted to make them since I love you so much. Like a thank you for always being so good to me kind of thing. You're the one who's... Oh no, is it too much? Don't cry, Treat. Oh, I'm happy. If you're happy, then you can cry a little. Just a little? Now I'm getting embarrassed. Thank you, Mochi. <laughs> of course. It's getting late. We should probably try to sleep. Yeah, I should. Because you're embarrassed. That's not why. You are, though. Gosh, why did I bother making such a nice gift if I'm only going to get teased by you over it? Sorry. Let's go to sleep, Mochi. Treat. Ugh, I can't read. Good night. <laughs> yes, save my progress. I will end the episode after... Whoa, we want dating sim. I, I think this is still the dream. I, I, I would like to see a dating sim visual novel style treat game. That'd be cool. Hey, Treat, it's about time you showed up. Huh? We are waiting for you. We'll take a bath with us, right? Uh, um... Go in the hot springs with him? Sure. It's more fun bathing with friends. Yep, absolutely. You get to see all sorts of things, right, Treat? I won't stare. Better make up your mind. What'll it be, Treat? Who do you want to take a bath with? Um... Mochi. Mochi, can I go with you? Oh, just me? How come? Is Moxie too rambunctious? No, it's just... Lucky you. I'll wait my turn. It'll be more fun if it was all of us. Oh well, if that's what you want, Treat. 
Yeah, treat if it's what you want. I'm sorry. Well, Moxie seems alright with it, and it's a dream anyway, so who gives a shit? Now, now, it's nothing to apologize for. Let's go. And... Nudity! Probably not. There in the bath, her bathing area is warm and fragrant. Flower petals decorate the water's surface, and a light steam embraces the air as they enter. They have the whole bath to themselves. Mochi has already gone on ahead. She beckons for Treat to join her in the water. The wolf hesitates, gathering her resolve, before finally taking a step forward. She can't act too nervous around her dear friend. Every action is carefully measured as to not make Mochi feel uncomfortable. Mochi has never felt uncomfortable. Treat knows she's been overly cautious, but there's just no getting around it. Being honest about her feelings would change things. It would definitely change things. As Treat slips into the comfort of the hot springs, she thinks, maybe something does need to change. That would mean making a choice. And she can only choose one. Ah, uh, but didn't she decide just now? The air suddenly feels thicker. Mochi is sitting on her lap now. When did that happen? Trade couldn't tell if Mochi was able to read her thoughts, but there were times it certainly felt that way. This was one of those times. She had wished Mochi would decide for her. To so kindly offer her hand and suggest they try becoming more than friends. For a night, for an hour, anything would do. Oh. She wants, uh... Wants a little, uh... You know what I'm saying? I almost did the wrong gesture. <laughs> casually suggest, like Moxie did, that they could mess around a little, so that Treat would be able to casually accept. Mochi kissed her softly, as if to say, It's alright, I know. And so Treat was able to melt into those kisses and get carried away. Oh. We had a wet dream! Vic. <laughs> treat, treat, treat! You finally woke up! Don't you remember? We're going with Moxie to the beach today. Oh no, your face is all red. Don't tell me you've got a fever and can't go to the beach. I don't have a fever and we can go to the beach. But, um, maybe I need to hit the bathroom for about 20 minutes. So you didn't get sick after all? Good! Beach, beach, beach! You're so worked up. Because we're going to the beach! Hurry, hurry, get out of bed! Okay, fine, yeesh. Check postcards. That's a mushroom biome. I treat a mochi. Guess where I'm riding from. Don't cheat by flipping this over. <laughs> Just having a little fun. I'm in the Agaricus region. What? Did you know that huge mushroom things are actually buildings? Which has built some really neat looking places to live. I've met a bunch of interesting people leave since me ha, since leaving Mount Survey. I look forward to letting telling you more in detail next time I visit. Your friend, Trick. Having postcards from Trick always brightens your day, huh, Tree? Yeah, I hope we get to see them again soon. That does sound like a good time. I'm going to save. Call that an episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you to Shrom, Leviel, first up, part of me on Patreon this month. Thank you to Zerito, Burrito, Whirlybird, and 3DS Master Gaming for supporting me on Twitch. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!